Welcome to Joe Study Learn YouTube channel. Hope you are doing very well in your study. Today, I will be presenting on the topic Past Year Chemistry Exam Questions for Winter 2022. Multiple Choice Questions. And without further ado, let's get started. The rate of diffusion of three gases, ammonia, carbon dioxide, and methane, is measured. So, what is the order of the rate of diffusion of the gases from slowest to fastest? We have carbon dioxide, ammonia and methane. So this is the arrangement from slowest to fastest. So the answer for this number one is A. Which description of Brownian motion is correct? Brownian motion is the random motion of movement of a particles as a result of collision with surrounding gases molecule. And the answer for this answer is B. Number three, a chromatogram of a single substance T is shown. Which measurements are used to find the R or value of T. If you see from this paper chromatogram, it can be used to distinguish between pure and impure substances. So from this, we can see that the measurement are used to find the value of T is started from solvent front until the baseline. So in this case, it could be 3 and 4. So the answer for number 3 is D. Which statement about isotope of the same elements are correct? Isotope is actually members of a family of an element that all have the same number of protons and electrons, but different number of neutron. The number of proton is a mole nucleus which determine the element's atomic number on the periodic table. So I would say it's that, number one, they are atoms which have the same chemical properties because they have the same number of electrons in their outer shell. And number three, they are atoms which have the same number of electrons and protons, but different numbers of neutrons. So the answer would be one and three. Which statement about solid magnesium oxide is correct? Magnesium oxide has a giant 3D lattice structure formed by strong electrostatic forces of attraction between the positively charged magnesium ion and the negatively charged oxygen ion. So this ionic bond requires a lot of energy to overcome. And therefore, the substance has the high melting point. So the answer for number five should be oxygen ions and magnesium ion are attracted to each other in a giant lattice. This is actually has been spelled out in this explanation below. And number six, which molecule contains only three shared pairs of electron? Triple bond in chemistry, a covalent linkage in which two atoms share three pairs of electron as is a nitrogen molecule, which is N2. The answer is D. And which particles are present in the structure of metals? It should be positive ion, 
negative ion and also mobile electron. Sorry, it could be positive ion and mobile electron. So metals form positive ion. Okay, number one. Metallic bond, the electron in the outer energy level of a metals are mobile and capable of drifting from one metals atoms to another, which means one and four. This means that the metal is more properly viewed as an array of positive ion surrounded by a sea of mobile valence electron. So the answer would be one and four. Caffeine is a stimulant found in a coffee. If you come here, the element here, it will end up C8, H10, N4, O2. So the answer will be C. Number nine, a compound of element X has a formula X2O and a related formula mass of 144. What is element for X? So explanation refer to chapter 3, elements and compound and periodic table, which is nuclear or mass number is equal to number of proton plus number of electron. So number of electron is actually equal to number of proton. Number of neutron is equal mass number minus proton number. So if you see X2O means that C2O, Cu relative atomic number is 64. If Cu2 means that 128. How do you get 20, 128? 64 multiplied by 2 equals 128. And oxygen relative atomic number is 16. And to get the total mass number is 128 plus 16 equals, equals 244. So the, the most suitable elements or answer for X is actually copper. And the electrolysis of concentrated aqua sodium chloride and molten sodium chloride is shown. So what are the products at electrode 1 and 2? So I would say that the product of electrolysis of concentrated aqua sodium chloride are hydrogen gas and also chlorine gas. So the answer is B. When an acid is added to an alkaline, the temperature of the reaction mixture rises. So which word describe this reaction? It refers to chapter and exothermic and endothermic. This is because the neutralization reaction is exothermic and give out heat to the surrounding. So the answer is D. Which rule identify a chemical range and the physical range? Explanation. Ethanol molecule evaporate from the container of ethanol and enter the bottom of the flame. And evaporation is a physical change that transforms liquid into gas. When internal evaporate, its molecule structure remains the same. So the answer is D. And the electricity energy or voltage of two simple cells is measured. So we have here um, where one cell, it consists of zinc, magnesium and electrolyte and the second cells consist of magnesium or copper and electrolyte so in this uh, which option is correct so statement one the voltage of cell one is greater than cell two mm -mm, no and zinc is more reactive than copper it says that zinc is reactive more than copper is also not correct so magnesium is oxidized in both cells so we have a magnesium here and also we have a magnesium here. So it says that magnesium is oxidized in both cells and also magnesium atom lose electron to form magnesium ion. So in this case, when the electrical energy or voltage of two simple cells is measured, first we have to look at the magnesium atom lose electron to form magnesium ion and then Magnesium is oxidized in both cells. So the answer would be D. Dilute aqueous sodium chloride is electrolyzed using carbon electrons. So what is the product at the end of? I will say that very dilute aqua sodium chloride solution in a small concentration, the electrolysis 
of water became more pro-dominant, pro yielding hydrogen at cathode and, X, and oxygen at anode. So the answer is C, oxygen. And number 15, water is added to Andreos copper to sulfate. So what happened during this reaction? Andreos copper sulfate get hydrated and turn blue. On addition of a few drops of water and the solution form get water. So the answer would be B. And which arrow on the energy level diagram show the overall energy change for the endothermic reaction? So the explanation for the question is refer to chapter chemical energetic where endothermic reactions happen where energy of the reactant is lower than energy of the product. Energy of reactant is lower than energy of the product. And energy absorbed from surrounding. Okay. And then energy product minus energy reactant. Energy product minus energy reactant. And energy reactant is positive value. So the answer for this is B. When magnesium is heated with zinc oxide, a reaction occurs. The, the equation is shown. Magnesium will replace zinc and copper from the oxide. So the, the which substance is oxidized. So the answer would be magnesium. X and Y are oxide of two different elements. So... If you place the universal indicator into the water after it has reacted with the alkaline metal, it will turn blue. So, turn blue or purple. So, this is because metal hydroxide are alkaline. Lithium fizzes around the surface of the water. And sodium carbonate react with ethanoid acid to form Sodium ethanol, carbon dioxide, and water most non metal oxide are acidic. So, which statement is correct? X react with water to produce aqua solution Z. Okay, so Z turn universal indicator paper blue. So, in this case, example given here is metal hydroxide. Okay where when you place universal indicator into the water after it has reacted with the alkaline matter, it will turn blue and purple. So to answer this is actually um, it gives the answer of the metal hydroxide. Okay. And when an aqua solution of Y, aqua solution of Y, this is a sodium carbonate, react with ethanoid acid. Okay, to produce carbon dioxide gas. So, which statement is correct? So, X is the oxide of a metal. And then, Y is the oxide of non-metal. This is what is trying to explain the explanation. And ethanol acid react with water to produce an acidic solution. Which row describes the role of ethanol acid and water in the reaction? So when you have ethanol acid, ethanol acid is actually a proton. H. And it's donate. And base water is a proton acceptor. So the answer for this, I would say, is, is donate a proton which is donate a proton, ethanol acid. So, ethanol acid, donate the proton, and water will be accept a proton. And copper 2 sulfate is a soluble salt. Calcium sulfate is an insoluble salt. There are two elements here. One is copper, and the other one is a calcium. Which row shows suitable reactant for preparing a pure sample of the name of salt? So the answer given here is calcium sulfate is a salt and the reactants is actually aqua calcium chloride and aqua sodium sulfate. This is the 
uh, reactant. Okay. With that being said, wish you all the best in your study and hope with this presentation and explanation and giving the answer for each of the questions, you, you can understand about the what is the question look like and the answer what is supposed to be. And please don't forget to subscribe to Jones Tadila YouTube channel and follow me at Jones Tadila Instagram. It's actually customized notes are available at Beacon page and you can access directly to Beacon page or you have the, the uh, alternative by assessing through Instagram. Just click the link in the Instagram to the Beacon page. Thank you very much.